FKLR, Furon's Commando Lightning Replica, Operational Command Control Unit Replica Falcon, or FALK, are Generation 6 high-tech bioresonant command replicas. These replicas are used in every Aeon facility across the USAN nation as the commander of the protector security forces in these facilities. FALK means Falcon in German, and in today's video I will explain the lore of this important character, as well as some integral theories that relate to her. So, with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Before I really get into this, I'd like to quickly say, if you're someone who is into Signalis lore or just want to hang around in a cool place, I have a link to my Discord below where we just relax and talk about Signalis lore, we make mods, and other random stuff. So, if you're interested, feel free to join below. To begin, the lore of the base Falk unit should really be established. Falk units play a pivotal role within the command of each Aeon facility's protector force, acting as the security chief while also being an authority that no other replica can oppose or even question. We learn about the exacts of this role from their overview page. The Protector Führung's Commando's commander, the head of each Aeon's facility's protector force, is a powerful prototype by a resonant Falke unit, an authority that may never be questioned. A Falke unit serves not just as a commander to the protectors, but as a nearly godlike being. A perception that is underlined by her tall build and resemblance to our nation's leaders. The great revolutionary and her daughter. It is also aided by her powerful prototype by resonance module, which not only allows her to bend the will of weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions, but also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. Folks are unique that during the game we are never given a look into their known issues page, which is unlike every other replica. This is likely due to the fact that such information would likely not be available to anyone except Aeon's Command, and we never really see anyone in Aeon's Command. Folks are depicted on the Wonderwaffen propaganda piece, which depicts a folk unit holding the Yusan Nation's flag, with the text, Super Weapons of Our Nation in the Battle Against the Empire, Folk Units. This is indicative of the important role that the folk units play in the war against the Empire, from both the propaganda direction and physically. From general units, we can move to the specific unit that we encounter over the events of the game, this being S-23's folk commander. Big warning here, the following will contain many spoilers about Signalis, so proceed at your own risk. Prior to the events of the game, Folk would serve as the protector commander of Aeon's S-23 Serpienski facility on Lank. We don't know much about her tenure as a leader, but she is often praised by other replicas. Sometime during her command and prior to the events of the game, she would descend down into the mines, and from there would travel past the Red Gate into eternity. While there, she would be infected with Ariana Young's bioresonant abilities, which caused her to inherit the memories of Young's deceased lover, an Elster replica known as Elster 512 along with an unknown disease. We learn more about this from one of Adler's diary entries, in which he states, The commander never talked about what she saw out there. I'm sure whatever it was, it was what made her fall sick. Something about her changed when she returned. She was no longer our beloved leader, Falk. And that's from Adler. Following this instant, Falk would fall ill due to the unknown disease, and would be confined to her bed. Over the course of the following weeks, the rest of the facility would become infected with the unknown disease as well. Folk's subordinate, Protector Controller Sieben, says that the commander fell ill just like the rest of the Aeon facility employees at around the date 8421A. Sometime during this infection, Folk would go into a comatose state. However, she would maintain a personal diary where she would describe the aftermath of her ventures to the gate and eternity. 84, 21A. I don't know how much longer I could go on. I don't want to live anymore as what I've become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No, touched me, poisoned me. It feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled by end of other person's memory. It's no longer fully myself anymore, but I've not fully become someone else either. Folk would spend an unknown amount of time in this comatose state, and would continue to descend into madness as a result of the disease, but more so her inheritance of Elster's memories. The biosynic connection grew further to such a severity that she would begin to disassociate rapidly, her memories being corrupted. 
Folk recounts the memories of Elster's wife, her own memories being overridden in the process in her diaries, as she writes. A crashed ship, a strange gate, a hole in the ground, an island beyond reach, memories from other lives, dreams of suffering and loneliness, a promise, a search for someone lost. I saw her in the red emptiness, waiting for me. We had made a promise. As the memories of a stranger rushed into my mind, I felt the borders of myself blur. Now, I can no longer tell where Falca ends and where Elster begins. Sometime after describing the memories, Falk becomes completely consumed by the idea that she is Elster, feeling all of the replica's emotions and inheriting her memories. We were dancing to that song they start the broadcast with. We fell asleep watching the movie that we've seen so many times. If only we could take us back to the time when we were happy. At the end of the game, Elster travels through Ende, and as she does so, the location begins to travel into the shape of Falk's quarters. Upon Elster's entry into Falk's quarters, Falk finally reawakens from her comatose state, levitating with her abilities and saying, There's nothing for you here. She'll never dance with us again, no matter what we do. She doesn't even want us anymore. Both of us are incomplete. Let us become whole once again! Ende then either distorts or she warps them to an unknown location. The two of the them then engage in combat, where after a fierce battle, Elster impales Falk with her spears, disabling Falk, who weakly reaches out to Elster's chest plate. Her final thoughts are of Elster and Arion hugging aboard the Penrose 512. Falk then succumbs to her wounds, her final words stating that her and Elster have become whole. While I am covering Falk, a brief detour should be made to explain the boss fight. Falk has six phases. The player will suffer more damage from her attacks with each progressing phase, as well as more overall damage on higher difficulties. Elsa will be able to fight back using mainly 10mm ammo, repair sprays, and ammo for whatever weapon has been brought into the fight, which will spawn in during this battle. Phase 1, Falk will only attack the player by throwing spears at them, alongside warping to a random direction and firing a random number of spears around the player. Phase 2, the scenario will change into a med bay of sorts. Ammunition, healing items, and other things can be found in the area. Falk will summon two auras, and her spears will become red and produce an orb-like explosion. These explosions can also damage enemies. Phase 3, the scenario will warp into an office with some more healing and ammo. Folk will fire a wave-like projectile that will become larger the further they go. Phase 4, there will be no more ammunition, and Folk will receive three shields that will constantly rotate, covering her from some bullets. These cannot be knocked down or pierced with any weapon. Additionally, she will fire three waves of circular-shaped orbs around her. Phase 5, the scenario will change into a prison-like area, similar to nowhere. Ammunition and healing items will be present. Folk will summon four auras, and she will not receive any new abilities. And in the final phase, Folk will use every ability to damage the player. Additionally, she will have six shields instead of three. It is recommended to avoid damage and exhaust her until she is stunned. Defeating Folk on this phase will end the fight. Also, there's a little bit of trivia that regards to Folk that doesn't really fit in with anything else, but it is useful information nonetheless, so I figured I would tag it here. The track Folk's theme is a version of Arianne's theme, but played backwards. During certain attacks, before spear throwing or summoning minions in certain phases, the player may notice out of place random flashing messages. These are presumed to be directed at Elster. There's a corrupted version of Falk's room in the nowhere section of the game, next to the letters that you will use to head up to the boss. If you stay there for a few seconds, Falk's theme will be in the play. Before finishing out this video, there is something very important in understanding Falk. However, it's not exactly pure lore, but rather the role she takes up in the different theories and the meaning that she gets ascribed due to her existence in them. Seeing as she is the final boss of the game, pretty much every theory has a complex explanation of what she means to that specific theory. Today, I will only cover some basic explanations from the four main theories, those being Dream, Realist, Hybrid, and KIY, but it's important to know basically every theory has a different explanation for her. First is the Dream Theory. They approach the entire game by just having it be a dream of Arianne, 
With this perspective, Folk represents Aeon in the state that hurt her. So, it was the state's bad design that made Arion and Elster's trip doomed to fail. It was the state that created the environment to pressure her. And it was the state that pressured and destroyed her freedoms the entire time. It must be viewed that Folk is figuratively stealing everything from Arion. First her memories and her love and eventually her entire being. Symbolic of how the state's existence stole Arion's freedom. By destroying this representation of the state, Elster can grant the dreaming Arion some rest and a cathartic destruction of the state that hurt her so. From dream theory is realist theory, which holds that everything occurring is occurring in reality. This theory wagers that Folk is simply being Folk, a lost replica who is tainted by Arion's bioresonance and now stands in the way of Elster's final destination. In this interp, things are generally taken very literally, and their interp of Folk is no different, as they view her as exactly what she claims to be, someone who is tainted by Arion's memories and now wishes for them to be hers, but ultimately is defeated by Elster, and thus releases her desire and entrusts her goal to Elster. Hybrid is a theory that wagers the true answer lays somewhere between realist and dream theory, and while these interps vary greatly, one possible explanation using hybrid theory for Falk is that she is one of the dreamers. She is too a character whose dreams are creating the facility we see, and by us, a member of the dream, killing her, we force her to wake up and reduce the hold of the dream. Finally, in the King and Yellow interp, which is the main one I follow on this channel and mainly wrote, it sees a lot of things from a realist perspective and its answers often echo those of that interp. However, it could also be seen that Falk is, well as she claims, a god. Not exactly a god in a pure sense, but a representation of god. A representation of the prime god that is trying to stop Elster, that being the king in yellow. It could be wagered that the reason Falk has these desires and is being rewritten in a way unlike any other was so the king could prepare for this fight to stop Elster from distracting his plan so long ago. But ultimately the plan fails, and we defeat the strongest piece the king can offer, and we sway God just to be with our lover. So with that, we can conclude this video. The lore of Falk is one that highlights the confusion and the depth of theory regarding the end of the game, and we push towards the final bits of lore and the amount of certainty is only going to continue to decrease, and that is something that I feel like Falk very much embodies. I personally think this is going to make the journey more fun as we continue to try and flesh out the last bits of lore, and if you're excited for, as I am for that, feel free to subscribe. It helps the channel out. If you have any questions or have noticed anything I missed, feel free to drop a comment below. I try and read them all. This video was a large process and took quite a long time to make, and I don't think I got everything regarding Folk, but I tried my best. Um, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you'd like to talk to me or other Sinoas theorists, a link to my description Discord is down below in the description. But that's all I've got for y'all today. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.